So guys, police have revealed details of the surveillance operation that led to the arrest of a fugitive from Liverpool. David Ongi and three of the men were arrested as they enrolled at a gym in the town of Coin last week. Ongi was wanted by Merseyside police in relation to a fatal shooting of Vinnie Waddington. I'll put the link in the description below to that story. So Vinnie was a passenger on a scrambled up type motorbike when he was shot dead. Ongi from South Liverpool left the country 24 hours later. And now more information has emerged about a search of a property in the Malaga area where Ongi and his associates had been strained prior to their arrest. Spanish police have said they recovered three firearms from the property. Police have also revealed more information about the surveillance operation that led to Ongi's arrest. Officers noticed that Ongi kept a shoulder bag with him at all times. Police suspected that Ongi was armed at all times, even inside his home. And the police in Spain said that Ongi and his associates led a secretive life and used extreme security measures. Police also added that the weapon seized during Ongi's arrest at the gym was ready to fire. The men were taken by surprise during the operation, the police said. So the four men have all been remanded in custody following a court appearance and Ongi is now likely to be extradited to the UK. Speaking last week, after the arrest, Detective Chief Inspector Kath Cummins said Merseyside Police remains relentless in its pursuit of criminals and will leave no stone unturned. We will continue to work closely with other law enforcement agencies both in the UK and overseas to trace those wanted for carrying out the most serious offences and bringing them to justice. So David Ongi Jr. is the son of David Ongi Sr. He was shot dead back, I believe, in 1995. He was travelling in his car in a VW Passat when he was ambushed by a gunman. And the killer unleashed a volley of rounds from an automatic weapon. And David Ongi Sr. was struck twice as he tried to flee, a fatal bullet severing a major artery and ensuring his death. I believe to this day that crime remains unsolved. And with regards to the death of Vinny, he was hit with a single shotgun blast in Garston, Liverpool, as he rode on a scrambler bike. He was a passenger. After that shooting, David Ungi Jr. was spotted on CCTV cameras and footage captured him as he leisurely strolled through Dover Ferry Terminal and he was believed to have travelled to Amsterdam. And for that murder, two men, Luke Kendrick and Ryan Bates, are already serving sentences. So as I said, I'll put a link into the story I've previously done on this, but here's some more footage with regards to how the arrest went down over in Spain. Let me know what you guys think. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.